Odysseus's prison. All right, so this one starts off with a little bit of trickery. So you either gotta wait for everything to move around, so you can shoot your parallel arrow and just shoot it up the head. First one's not too hard. Next one is way back there and shoot your Apollo arrow. Just weave it down and through everything else to hit that one. The third one's at the very back. You're going to have to light it across this flame and circle it around. So let's go ahead and go. I'm going normal speed through here. We're going to speed it up to get past this stuff. Then we're going to slow it down to get through this loop. We're going to come back down and keep it slow. Get it through this little hoop around this brick wall and curve it right to hit this one which then unlocks the torch at the back and there you go so that would open it up for the end but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and shoot another Apollo's arrow through here and go ahead and speed it up a little bit to get through everything and you're going to shoot a flaming arrow at this box I'm going to wait a little bit and then we're going to go ahead and shoot another arrow through it as well. We're going to speed it up to get through all these. Come back up here. That box is now gone. You're going to hit this target. And that unlocks your chest. Hmm. The Brood of the Typhon Helmet. Now we've got our chest, you just turn it around, hit these wind pads, and there you go. That's how you beat Odysseus' prison. Okay, for this epic challenge, you're going to stand on this platform here, and you're going to unlock these torches, but you want to copy the way the torches are lit behind you. For this one, you just want to shoot your arrow through the flame. And light this one. This one. I'm going normal speed on these, by the way. This last one, because we're going to have to make a, a right, is I'm going to go ahead and shoot it, slow it down, and then just drop it down to the right, so and then go back to normal speed to light the torch. There you go, and then you just walk forward. Make sure you don't fall and hurt yourself. And that's how you get into this epic chest. Blood brood of Typhon breastplate acquired. Sanctuary of Erobos. So you can see our chest is already straight ahead. Go ahead and tag it. So don't miss it. Wait for these spikes. And we'll just fly over them. Try to avoid all that. Whoa! False jump there. Go ahead and jump over that. Fly to the side here. And there we go. We got past the spike. Looks like we got a couple of monsters to take out real quick. We stand on this. We have platforms that come down. So we can either go right or left. Let's go ahead and go left first because it looks like the second I step off of it, it's going to go up. So here we go. We got our checkpoint. 
Go ahead and walk over those. Quickly get over those spikes to get to our second checkpoint here. Wait for these spikes to go away. We'll go ahead and jump. And jump. Try not to fall off the other side. There we go. Oop. I'll just jump over that one. Get our, our checkpoint. We got this guy here. Go ahead and carry his breath. Just take off the other little guys. And then I'll just wreck this guy while he's playing. There he goes. So. We can actually kind of cheat this dungeon if you just drop off here to the right. And just glide right over here. That'll get us to our chest. Go ahead and open it up. Snake strings, breastplate. Now that you got your chest, go ahead and turn around. We've already got a safe spot here. So let's go ahead and stand on our, our platform here. It's gonna bring some stuff over. We gotta be quick here, because the second you get off of it, the platform, because the second you jump off your platform, it's gonna want to start moving. So you're gonna get to the end here. Pop it out. Go ahead and jump and glide over to one of your platforms here. And go ahead and stand on it. You don't have to worry about any of the other paths because your end goal is right here. What you have to do is you gotta pick this up and go ahead and drop it right here. All right. It's gonna be a little a minotaur battle. Go ahead and get in here. Rocking. A couple of areas rad. Go ahead and do another one. I'm gonna do a Nina's dash in there. And there you go. Our next one will be coming down here in just a second. Go ahead and drag it to you with your Heracles strength. We're gonna go ahead and drop it right onto the top of the pillar. That's catchy. There we go. Humble. But what's it for? You'll find out what it's for as long as you progress through the main story. Let's go ahead and ride your pillar up. I'm gonna go ahead and verify real quick that the tune. So we'll go ahead and just jump up over here. And that is how you beat the Sanctuary of Erobos. Erobos. All right, for this epic chest, the first thing you gotta do is you're gonna start coming over here. You're gonna see a big metal block right, or a small metal block right there. You wanna come to the opposite side of the building here. And you're gonna use your, your strength, pull it over jump over the building again come down into here go ahead and grab it all the way over a lot of jumping over this jump over here you want to drop it over here and go ahead and drag it onto here it's going to open up your your gate there so what you're going to want to do then is you want to grab your block here go ahead and pull it over You want to then grab your block again. Pull it off of there so you can jump up over here. And you want to grab it over against that gate. Go ahead and come over here to your right. And you're going to pull it and drop it onto this weighted platform here to open that gate. Because you've got your second block here, you're going to want to jump over here and grab it, jump back over, and grab it this way, go ahead and come all the way over here, grab it again, 
This time I'm just gonna run around. Could jump over if you feel like it, or not. Go ahead and come back over here to the right. And grab this second tier block here to drop it here. And that's how you unlock your chest. Snake Sting's Helm. Alright, for this epic chest, what we're going to have to start by doing is climbing up the side of this wall. And we're going to get to the top here to break up some corruption to unlock some, some pieces. So we've got a metal block here. We've got a torch here. And we have a breakable wall right here. Which you can just jump off, swing your axe. You got your torch there. And we have a block up here. So we're, first thing we're going to do is we're just going to huck the block down. Go ahead and come on over here. Grab your second block. Don't jump off like I did. And go ahead and help it down. Then what we're going to want to do is you're going to go ahead and light your bow. Go ahead and shoot it up here. Slow it down so you can make sure you get all lined up. Go ahead and light that torch. This one, go ahead and let, it, let her fly. Go ahead and come right around the corner here and get to the base there. We've got unlocked little holes, so we're going to go ahead and pick up. The door's open now, so let's go ahead and grab one of our blocks and go ahead and throw it inside the hole. Go ahead and grab your second block and walk it over here. You're going to want to throw it inside this hole here. Opens up your door. Let's go ahead and go inside. We've got the Lion Stair Helm. Alright, for this epic chest challenge, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to activate this and go ahead and start shooting your Apollo arrows. Go ahead and slow them down to make sure you get uh, a good purchase and a good light of your arrow. Go ahead and do the same thing for this one. Slow it down. Make sure you get in it. you got to be quick, so you got to make sure you get in line, slow it, get lit. Go ahead and come up here to your top left. Keep it slow. Realign yourself, go ahead and fire your arrow, slow it down right away, get it through. Go ahead and come up the top here, and light that one up. There you go. Go ahead and run up here and see what our spoils are. I am the never the lion stairs. Sifo's cave. Let's do it. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go ahead and jump on over here and activate this switch. You're going to drop your your ball. So what you're going to then do is come over here. And go ahead and grab it with your Heracles strength. Let it fall down. Go ahead and drop over here. We'll run on around to this side. And drag your ball right over here. We've got our chest right there, so let's go ahead and tag it. Next thing you do here is you're gonna go ahead and activate your little block here. You're gonna wanna grab your block. And pull it onto this platform here. 
Go ahead and activate. I'm gonna take it all the way to the top. Go ahead and come on over here. Jump on over. You see you got a flaming ball and you need to get that block onto that platform there. So what you're gonna wanna do is just grab it. Let it go. Fly over here. Fly over here. Jump onto right here on this back side. And go ahead and grab your block. Drop it off. And go ahead and fly fly your way back. And drag your block. And then releases the door. It's gonna push that over there. We're gonna go ahead and fly and follow it around. Gonna fall into this hole down here. Go ahead and drop down. Pull it onto this platform here. And activate your lever. It's gonna go ahead and go to the second floor here. We're gonna jump up here. And we need to get it into that air vent. So go ahead and drag it over. Let it float on up. Come back over here. And jump to the top of this one. Go ahead and grab it. Roll it over. Let it sit purchase there. Go ahead and jump here. And if you're lucky enough, It'll go ahead and roll right into that spot. We're going to jump back over here to our other side here. We should be able to grab it from right here, but I'm experiencing technical difficulty. So we'll go ahead and jump in and pull it on in. It's going to roll over here. Up into that airlift. We're actually just going to come right over here. Go ahead and jump on up here. Get on top here. So your ball actually got pushed way over here. Down the corridor. Down this way. And it fell into this hole here. But we're going to take a side beat. Go ahead and jump up top here. And just run this way. And fall down. To get your chest. We have the Goat's Breath Helm. Now that you got your chest, go ahead and turn around. Let's jump back up here. Grab the side of that. Come on. Jump back here. Go ahead and float your way back to here. Jump on to this side of the platform. And you're going to grab your ball. And go ahead and roll it right to your point there. Come on down. Activate this. It's going to go ahead and drop it one floor. You're going to jump back up to here. Go ahead and come down here. Grab your ball. You're lucky enough you got enough little purchase on it to go ahead and drop it into its spot and then went ahead and raised your platforms over here let's go ahead and take them
there you go. That's how you beat this ball. Atlantia's nightmare. First thing you want to do is come in here and be prepared to, for a battle. I'm dodging lasers. So go ahead and come back over here. Go ahead and shoot your Apollo Zero. This one. Shoot an Apollo Zero over here so you don't get hit by the lasers. Next one. Go ahead and come over here so you don't get hit by lasers. Shoot your first one. Second one. Go ahead and come around the, the pillar here. To get that one. Next, come on over here. Go ahead and come back here. Jump on back. Come back behind this pillar here. Go ahead and fire away. There you go. Once you've cleared all those, go ahead and jump in your air vent. And don't grab the lightning right away. Go ahead and jump to the back side here. Go ahead and drop down here. And you want to shoot this one right here. Hit it quick. Open your chest. Goat's breath breastplate. Once you have your chest, go ahead and climb back to the... get back up here. And that's how you beat the ball.